Hello, hello. So here I am having yogurt with frozen dark sweet cherries. I hope they didn't dip them in sugar. Um, I didn't read the label, but this is what I'm using. Uh, I'm using dark cherries uh, from ShopRite. And you can see the ingredients for yourself. This is just cherries. Sometimes you wonder if there's anything else that they're not telling you. And I am using my own homemade Greek yogurt. Yeah, you got that right. I, I got tired of spending money on Cabot, which is a wonderful company that has blessed me because it's the purest form of Greek yogurt here in the United States. And so I just use some of its bacteria to create my own yogurt and I am loving it. You see how dark, how thick it is. Saw how hard that was to pick up and it doesn't fall that easy. And I'm just going to dump it in here so you could see. Look how creamy it is. You can make your own yogurt at home. Get yourself a, a yogurt maker. It took me about three years before I started using my yogurt maker. And this is the container of it. I used to have one where it had uh, several jars. And I used to do it very, very often. And I used to buy the bacteria in a powder form. But, you know, by the time I get to almost the very end of this, this um, container... All I do is I throw water in it, milk in it for whole milk. I stir it up and put it back in the warmer of my yogurt maker. If you want more information about my yogurt maker, I'd be delighted, but I'd love to hear from you first. So please tell me what it is that you'd like to hear from me and what demos. And if you want to buy something that I have where I purchased it, thank you so much for joining me and have yourself a good day. Yummy for my tummy. Fruit in the bottom, but at least it doesn't have that sugary syrup. Yum. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, my goodness. Perfect. Bye now.